Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own website if you want your own domain name and if you want to use WordPress. That is the idea. Let's start. Okay, first you need WordPress, okay? If you go to wordpress.com, okay, you can create your own website here, it's okay, but what if you want your own domain name? For example, let me show you one example. Here, I'm gonna go to Bluehost. You can go to GoDaddy, Bluehost, HostGator, doesn't matter, but I believe Bluehost uh, works very nice, okay? I use this hosting provider. And what you have to do here, you, can, you have to click here and you, to get started and then you will see these three different plans. If you want to select a plan, one of the things that I recommend you is to select something that is unlimited, okay? Because then you can host different pages, okay? For example, if you want to wordpress.com, okay? You can host just one site, but here, if you go, if you select your plan, for example, the plus, you can uh, host different sites there, okay? And here you have all the these options, and I recommend you all the way the plus. All right, and then if you select this one, what's gonna happen, you will go here, you will go here, okay? As soon as you select, here you have to create your domain name, okay? For example, let's say, for example, I put Eugenio Trainer Adobe, okay? Just to put a, a name probably is nobody use that name and then as soon you click next okay what's gonna happen you have to put all your information and this is the final price but wow this is kind of expensive okay one thing that i recommend you you have to go back here and select just 12 months okay all right that is oh, a little cheaper it's not that bad okay and one thing that you can remove from here if you are creating wordpress mm, i think it's not good to remove this stuff if you're creating something on html Yes, you can do it, but I recommend you to keep all this stuff because you have, it's, it's very good for you to have a privacy, to have security, uh, okay? That is, is very good. All right, and then what's gonna happen, as soon as you pay this guy, they're gonna send you a username and password, and then you will go here, okay? This is the control panel, the C panel inside Bluehost, okay? And from here, you can create your website, okay, using WordPress. So look at this, in this icon, you can install WordPress. As soon as you click here, one of the things that you can do, okay, you can go to this page, and here you have to put your, uh, your own URL, for example, that is my last name, okay? And then as soon as you click next, okay, you're gonna start installing. You will see this, and here you can visit different uh, themes that you can install, okay, and they're gonna charge you, but you don't need that because there are a hundred of different free themes, okay? At the end, you're gonna spend around $100 or 13, I don't know, $130 per year, something like that, okay? But you don't have to spend more money on this, just if you are a pro, okay? And then uh, what's gonna happen, you will receive an uh, email, okay, something like this. Uh, congratulations, you have your WordPress site, okay, this is the URL, and this is the admin to go to the back office with your username and password, okay? And what you have to do, you have to go to that address. For example, if I go to the solis.bando.com, the one that I just created, okay, you will see coming soon. But if you go here to the admin login, okay, you can go to the login, put your username and password, and then you will go inside WordPress. And guys, this is WordPress, this is the idea. There is a back office and a front end, okay? What's gonna happen with the front end, as soon as you are here, if I click here on my name, okay, I can visit the site, okay? And you will see here the front end, okay? This is the how gonna look the real website, okay? And this is just a dummy template with your name, okay, your latest post, and here you have a few widgets, okay, a few things, okay? This is just the basic, but if you want to start doing things, okay, this is what you can do. First, you have to create pages, okay? For example, I can go to here to pages, and then you can create and add pages. I have a sample page, but on the top part, you can add a new page. If you add a new page, for example, home, about, gallery, contact, okay? In this case, I'm gonna create a page home, okay? All right, and I'm gonna put here, for example, hi guys. Okay, this is my home page. 
All right, and then you can just publish the page. Then if you want, you can create more pages. I'm gonna create a few ones, okay? I'm gonna select add new here on the bottom and I'm gonna put here, for example, about, okay? About me and then just publish the page, okay? That is the second page. Then I'm gonna add a new one and this is going to be my gallery, okay? Here, my work, okay, for example. And then I'm gonna publish, and then you have to create the last one, okay, of course, it's up to you, and I'm gonna create the last one, it's going to be my contact. All right, and then hire me, okay, and then publish, okay? That is the basic idea of WordPress to create pages. Then what you have to do in order to see all those pages, because if I go to the live site, you don't see the pages. Where are all those pages? Okay, what you have to do, you have to go here and I'm gonna create a menu. If you go to the appearance here, you can go to the menus and in this area, you can create your menu. For example, I'm gonna put the menu name, for example, my menu. Okay, it's okay, menu, all right. Okay, and then I'm gonna select create menu. And as soon as you create the menu, one of the things that you can do, you can add all the pages that you have. For example, contact, gallery, about, home, not a sample page because that, that is by default in WordPress and add to menu, okay? And then you will see here on the right, the structure of that menu. And you can resort this one. For example, I'm gonna put home at the top, then about, okay? If you put that like this, this is going to be a sub item, a sub menu, okay? I'm gonna put the contact at the end, all right? And here you have to decide where is going to locate that menu, okay? I'm gonna put this on the top menu and then just save, okay? And now you have that menu on the home page. okay? If I go to the home page, then if I refresh this, okay, what's gonna happen? You will see the menu is here on the bottom area. Now you have a menu, okay? All right, by the way, this page, this side is set up like if this is a blog, okay? It's not the typical website that you can see home about gallery and contact, okay? Like a landing page, like a home page. This is like a blog, okay? In order to change that, what you have to do, guys, you have to go here to the appearance, okay? And here I'm gonna go to the customize, okay? All right, and here on the customize, uh, you can change the site identity, you see, for example, if I click here, just another WordPress site, okay? And this is text that comes here. You can put your name, your slogan, whatever you want, okay? And then here you can change the color, header media. You can change many different things. But I'm gonna go here to the home page settings, okay? And instead to be the latest post, I will like here, the home page is going to be my home, okay? And if you have a blog, probably you can create a new page and you can select the blog page here, okay? But I'm not planning to create a blog on this side, just select publish, and now you have your home page, your about page, gallery page, and contact page, okay? That is the idea, okay, of what you can do with WordPress. And then if I go here, if I refresh the page, okay, what's gonna happen, all right? You will see this is the home page. You can see you can go to the about, Okay, you can go to the gallery and you can go to the contact and so on, okay? That is the idea. But what happened here, because you know, this theme is, I am not crazy about this theme, okay? I would like to use another thing. And here is when you can go here to the themes, okay? If you go to the themes, here you can select another theme. What is the idea? Is select another template, it's another design, you can change the entire side with another theme, okay? And here, one of the things that you can do, you just can select here, add new theme, okay? All right, there are many different free themes that you can select, okay? I recommend you select here the popular, okay? And here, as soon as you select the popular, you can start investigating in all these free themes that you can do, okay? All right, and look at this, for example, Sydney, okay? Let's take a look to this one. If you select here uh, the preview, you can select, oh, I'm gonna select just install because we don't have a lot of time, okay? And if you install the theme here, okay? It's already installed and then I'm gonna activate, okay? And what happened if you activate the theme? Your entire website gonna change, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna activate, okay, the theme here, all right? And now 
I'm gonna go to the side. Okay, it's loading because it's the first time. Gonna take a few seconds to load. Okay, but you will see a very good result. There is boom. Okay, you see, you can see this is your website now. You can see, you can see it's looking pretty cool. You have the home about gallery contact. Okay, but where all this tech comes from? Welcome to Sydney. Feel free to look around. Begin. You see all this, how you can change all the stuff. What you have to do, you have to go back to the themes, okay? And here, if I select the theme, I'm gonna select the appearance, okay? Just select theme and select the customize again. Always is depend the theme that you install is where is all those options. Now I have more options here, okay? And one of the things that you have to start here digging. Let me go here to the header area. Look at this header tie, header slide bar. Uh, look at that, there is the image, okay? Welcome to Sydney. Here I'm gonna put welcome to Eugenia, okay? And then I'm gonna select publish. Can you see, and you can see here, welcome to Eugenia. Okay guys, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one, bye.